Guys, let's log into my Ultimate Iron Man account for the first time ever. It actually took me like half an hour to think of a name for this account, but now that I have a name, let's turn this account into an Iron Man. My name I chose is Single Player. Yeah, it's not the best, but it is the best I can get. So let's go over to Paul and change myself into an Ultimate Iron Man. Everybody's wrong. Rewrote the song. Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. What's your mind wrapped in? Wrapped around. Okay, there we go, finally. Are you sure you want to become an Ultimate Iron Man? Yes, please. There goes everything. Okay, time to start the adventure. I have my Ultimate Iron Man logo, which is awesome. Hunt has been released. Corp has been released. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is train some agility. That is definitely what I want to do to start off. I want to try and get full graceful in this episode. Okay, so here we go, guys, with... 54 room crafting I think this is no yes maybe 54 there we go we actually got it so I need lore runes to teleport to Lumbridge then I can actually teleport to Draenor so I went through this massive process of training mage training rune crafting mining the pure essence etc etc but now I can rune craft some lore runes and finally teleport around everywhere. There we go 43 lore runes have been rune crafted all the way at 59 rune crafting now now let's go get graceful there we go guys 70 agility i think we can buy like two or three graceful pieces now i think i'm gonna buy the cape and the gloves probably 40 for the cape yeah that's not bad we'll buy the cape and we'll buy the gloves for 30 okay we don't have enough for another piece but let's go train some more agility there we go guys 180 marks of grace in the inventory let's go buy a full graceful now we can finally finish it off. That took a really long time, but let's trade Grace and buy the hood, the top, the bottom, and the gloves. Wait a minute. No, I don't need the gloves. I need the boots. So... That was... Oh god, I have to go train more agility. There we go, 40 more marks of grace in the inventory, let's go buy the boots, that is so annoying I had to do that, but it doesn't really matter, I don't mind agility. But yeah, there we go, graceful boots has been achieved, full graceful, that looks amazing. That is probably going to be the thumbnail, unless I get something better, but yeah, graceful is really nice to get out of the way straight away. By the way guys, we got 79 agility out of all of that, but now I want to train Hunter since it was actually released, I do want to be able to catch Dragon Imp blinks for a glory and just for some decent money I guess and chins for some range training so let's go get on that hunter grind okay that is where we're gonna end it off for now I'll probably come back and get 83 but 70 is nice we got a hundred gray chins and a hundred red chins hunter is very slow I'd say that took around over four hours or something we have 17 hours game time right now so it did take a very long time to get 70 hunter but yeah the chins are gonna be worth it so yeah it wasn't that bad okay so we just trained up our combat starts up a little bit we got 40 attack strength and defense I'm actually gonna sell like 50 chin chompers for some money because I do need runes um, uh, okay, I can't sell those ones. So we're gonna sell 50 red ones. I'll be able to hunt some more later on anyway. But yeah, I do need like runes so we can go say spot fire giants because I do want a rune skimmy. Okay, so I've like spent way too long a fire giants and spent like way too much money on runes and stuff. So I'm just gonna get 60 attack, like rush 60 attack with like an iron skimmy or something. And we're actually gonna buy ourselves a dragon skimmer. Currently I have 20k cash low, so let's go thieve the seed stall I think and try and get heaps of money. Okay, so I think like two clips just corrupted themselves. I don't know what happened, but I can't find them. But pretty much I went to the seed stall, I made around 165k. I also got a crystal key from rock crabs which don't do anything like the rewards are crap i'm just gonna sell it to the general store i also got a easy clue though so let's go do that i guess okay so we're gonna drop this easy clue scroll now we will do clue scrolls in the future it's just right now space is limited on the ultimate iron man so it isn't really practical to do those emote clues where we need all these items and stuff because once we get them and obtain the item we'll have to drop it anyway so i guess we're gonna go and get a looting bag now okay so that didn't take too long at all we got our 
looting bag using our iron pickaxe. We are lagging right now. My internet right now is just so bad recently. But there we go. Looting bag has been achieved. That is awesome. And here we go, guys. 60 attack finally. That took so long with an iron pick. But there we go. 60 attack. Let's go buy ourselves a D skim after thieving a lot of seeds. It did take a fairly long time. But yeah, let's go get a D skim. And then I think I'm actually going to go and do some barrows runs. Here we go, guys. Buy a dragon skimitar. That is amazing. I'm going to be using that for so long until I get like 85 slayer or something. And there we go. We're going to buy a D dagger as well. So I think it is time to hit up some barrows runs. Oh, there we go, guys. Derek's Great Axe. That's our first ever piece. Now, is it good? Not really, but I guess we can sell it for like 300k. Derek's Great Axe is our first ever item. Not too bad. Okay, three chests later and a Carol's Quarry. Another sellable item, I guess, but I think that's like 20k. Oh, well, I'm definitely not going to keep it, but let's go sell some items. We're going to sell the Dark's Great Axe and the Carol's Coif and all of our runes to Molly, and let's see how much money we will get. Damn, 330k. We're actually going to keep the runes for now since I am using them through magic, but 330k from Barrow's items. Okay, so we actually ended up selling the runes that I'm not actually using in magic, so like nature's blood and like death runes and we actually got a lot of money from that 450k is very nice really growing with that cash stack now okay guys so i've been fishing for so long and look at that 1000 monkfish have been achieved they have not been cooked yet um i will do that soon but i'm not really bothered to do it right now that is a lot of cooking to do but yeah i haven't had internet for like two weeks now so i haven't been able to play that much which kind of sucks but pro pro was released so i think i do want to get 83 hunter very soon i don't know if i'll do 83 hunter next or cooking all of my monkfish but i will see okay so i got some clips while live streaming i got an elite clue and i already knew i didn't want to do this elite clue because I knew I was going to end up dropping it anyway because I would have gotten an emote clue and guess what I ended up getting one so I decided to drop the clue and see if I could do lunar diplomacy for that fighter torso which would be really nice now one of the requirements that I don't have is 60 fletching now I only have a bronze axe right now so um yeah we're going to hit up some Dagnoth Rex to see if we can get an animate axe and we actually ended up getting an Addy axe early on on 5kc which is awesome there we go guys we just hit 60 fletching where is it here we go there's 60 fletching that is our last skill for lunar diplomacy so let's go get lunar diplomacy out of the way get ourselves a fighter torso so let's go do it okay so to do the lunar diplomacy quest i actually need a crossbow now i need 69 fletching to make myself a rune crossbow and that is what i'm going to do so i'm going to get 69 fletching and then i'm going to kill some steel dragons in hopes of getting getting runite limbs and then i'm going to string those limbs and do all of that to make myself a crossbow so let's go do that first there we go guys 69 fletching that is awesome now to go camp still dragons i guess to try and get runite limbs now these stats it is going to be quite hard i'm just going to use magic i guess hopefully we can get it early on but okay so this clip actually got taken off a stream but we ended up getting our runite limbs now it didn't take too long it took around 10 still dragon kills now still dragons were really hard to kill and uh yeah i ended up dying now in, now fortunately in my looting bag i didn't have heaps of items so i could actually end up picking it all up which is awesome so i ended up getting the runite limbs and i ended up getting all my stuff back so now it is time to go make our u stock and then we'll make our runite crossbow okay so i'm very very angry with Camtasia right now oh my god so I just recorded like five minutes of footage and it corrupt of course I don't know what happened but let's just hope it doesn't happen again so this is pretty much what I did I finished the lunar diplomacy quest I got my crafting level up so then I can spin my sinew into crossbow string so I could add it to my rune art limb so then I made myself a rune crossbow I actually bought mithril bolts from the range shop now you're probably wondering why I did that and that is because chaos druids are supposed to drop mithril bolts on old school runescape yet they don't actually drop them on here so I decided to have a little bit of an exception and buy them on from the shop now Hank is going to add the drop to chaos druids soon but that is going to be in a couple weeks or so and I couldn't be bothered to wait that long so I decided to just buy them bought myself a 
torso and a Nezzy after doing a Lunar Diplomacy quest. I went to Shiloh Village Gem Mine to get my crafting up and to get the sapphires to make into the bolt tips and then enchant them, etc. And I hope that's all I did. I bought Myth Gloves from the Recipe for Disaster quest shop, but I think that's it, and I hope that's it. And that. <laughs> so annoyed with Camtasia right now but I hope that is it. And also one last thing is I wanted to train Slayer so I went slowly down the line of trying to get myself some good melee gear and that's why I'm here at Barrows to try and get some melee plate legs. But yeah once I get those melee plate legs I'm gonna go for a dragon defender and get all of that stuff knocked out of the way which would be really nice. So let's hope we can get some melee plate legs soon. Oh yes guys Derek's great axe. Now I had one of these before and I regretted selling it, so I'm actually going to keep this one for the full set. That is really nice. There we go guys, oh we actually got the best legs from Barrows, that is amazing. There we go, I am so ready to do some Slayer now. Okay, so it turns out the Warriors Guild isn't working right now for Ultimate Iron Man for some reason, so I'm going to end off the episode here. I got myself really nice plate legs. I'm ready to go get my Dragon Defender. Next episode should be 83 Hunter and a lot of Slayer. And hopefully we're going to start on some Achievement Diaries next episode and finishing off the rest of the quest. So that's going to be the end of the episode, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy this one. There was a huge delay on this, and I'm really sorry. I just haven't had internet for two weeks, so I couldn't play for two weeks which is really annoying but i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and hopefully i will see you in episode two